So today's video is going to be somewhat of just an FY slash informative video. For the longest time, anytime I'm flying via commercial airline, I've used this case. I don't know what brand it is. There's not a brand on it. I think it came from Cabela's, if I remember right. But it's metal, it has a key, and it came with this cable you can put in here, or stick through this whole wrap around, you know, a bed frame or whatnot. But uh, the big thing with it is it closes and locks and you have the key. So I've always done that, stuck my firearm in here, locked it, put in luggage, you get up to the uh, check-in, you declare a firearm, they give you a sticker or a bungee uh, type thing, you sign it, and you have to wait about 15 minutes or so to make sure it gets through airport security okay. Otherwise, they'll come out, they'll find you, and have you open it and show it to them. I haven't had them do that. Ask me to come open it, but it is a risk. And if they can't find you, then your luggage doesn't fly with you. So we recently went to Florida and the reason for this change is because of that, we had an, a unfortunate incident where we had a super early flight. So we woke up at about 2.30 in the morning. We went out the door, put everything in the car, threw my book bag in there that had the keys carabined to the back of it. In the back of the vehicle was a little SUV. Closed it, turned around, started walking. Oh crap, where's the keys? They're in the vehicle. So apparently with the smart key that it was, it was a Ford Edge. If the key fob is not near the driver's door or the passenger, I believe, then it won't prevent the car from locking. In this case, it was at the back hatch and it locked it. So we called the rental company. They said they would message us, tell us when they had a technician, probably, you know, a third party type thing coming. They didn't call, didn't message, nothing. So I ended up calling just a third party emergency locksmith. It's pretty expensive, but they were there in well, like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, got unlocked, we booked it to the airport and made our flight by a few minutes. But the reason for this video is I had this. So declared the firearm. They said, oh, is that a locking box? I said, yeah. She said, oh, well, we'll have to take you off the flight. You're not gonna make it because it won't make it through security since that isn't one of TSA locks or box. I have a hard case piece of luggage and that also locks. So the ticket counter person was not okay with this locked case with my firearm in it going in a unlocked bag but she was okay with this locked case going in a TSA locked bag and let us on the plane. So I don't really understand that, but anyway, each time we fly, it does slow us down about 15 minutes because they say, oh, you have to wait, you know, just in case they have to go through it, which I totally understand that. There's some added benefit of security having the key yourself and knowing that nobody else has it. But if somebody really wants this, they can take this out of your bag. Or if you have this anchored to your bag itself, a good pair of uh, cutters would cut this pretty easily and they could snatch it. So that's not the big deal to me. So what I'm doing, long story short, not really short, is instead of doing that, I have one of my Glock cases. I already had one combination lock TSA one that I had on a previous bag. I got another one. I can drill two holes right here and here. I don't know if you can see that to go through the handle right where my fingers are. And then it'll have two anchor points. You put one in the center, but if you do, then it's very slightly flimsy and they, I guess, could say it's not secure. Probably not, but if you got somebody super picky. So I'm putting one here and one here. So it holds down to each side. Pretty secure. There's really not much flex to it if you try. So let's give this a shot. Let's see. Sure beats buying a whole new case. No reason to buy a whole new pel you know, case like a Pelican case when I have something that works already. So I'm just making sure this does have uh, cross supports in the plastic. So I just want to make sure I'm not going to hit one of those. Okay. And let me 
zoom you in here just a little, or point you down at least. shavings of plastic there. Let's see if this works. Slide that right through there. Goes through the bottom one. Try and get this in your view so you can see it. So there's plenty of reach. Fold it over. Try and do this in camera view too. And just lock it. Super easy. Fits fine. Same thing I'm gonna repeat on this side so you can see it hopefully a little better. Slip it through, goes through easy peasy. Flip it over. And stick the other end of the combo lock in there. You can hear it snap. And you're good. So that's what it looks like. Regular old hard-sided clock case with two locks on it to provide support for each side. Let's see if this is reasonably pried by hand. No. So you can see a little crack in there, but nobody's going to get anything out of that without sticking some there and busting it. I mean, these cases are just that. They're plastic. If you want in it, chuck it on the ground really hard and you're going to bust it open or take a hammer and smash that hinge or take a little bitty wire cutter and cut that little flimsy thing. But this meets all the requirements for the TSA. Hard light, hard side of case that can't be easily opened by hand and has TSA approved locks. So now we can go right up to the ticket counter, declare a firearm, leave this in the bag, or put their sticker on it, whichever they want, depending on the, uh, depending on the airline. Southwest usually has a sticker Frontier usually has this, this bungee type ticket thing, which can just wrap around the handle. So I also have one of these. It's not this one. I should have put in this video, but I didn't. So what I do, it's just wire, cable, wrap in plastic, run it through itself, and then have a smaller combination Brinks lock that I run this through and lock it around the frame of the suitcase to deter. It's not going to stop somebody that really wants it, but it's going to stop those people to open it up, just snatch and grab, take it out, and send you know the rest of your luggage on to other places. It's happened. I'm not super worried about that. You know, you could probably get the airline to pay for it fairly easily. They've paid for damaged uh, luggage in the past, but just as a deterrent. So anyway, long story long, that is my new TSA approved case as per meets all of their requirements that they have online. So do what you will, got to make your choices, but I wanted to provide a cheap alternative for people rather than going out and spending 75 or $100 on some Pelican case or Apache case, even the ones at Harbor Freight can be, I don't know, probably 30, 40 bucks. I'm sure they have coupons too, but they're super deep too, is the big thing about those. I, would, I almost thought about getting one of those, but I like this is pretty narrow, you know, whereas those Apache cases are pretty thick and they're pretty heavy. You know, when you have a 40 pound limit or 50 pound limit, whatever it is on your luggage, depending on the airline, the firearm adds up pretty quick. And this case by itself is a couple pounds. So it's actually a good change if you go into this. It's a lot lighter. And I also don't have to keep the key because you always have combination. Like I said, just to reiterate, some people choose to go with this type because you do have the key. You're the only person with the key. 
But, you know, in my view, if somebody really wants it, they're going to get into it either way. These aren't bulletproof, for lack of a better, better term. You know, they, they're, they provide a resistance to someone who wants to easily take it. That's about all they do. So, all right, guys, as always, if you would please like, share, and subscribe. Down in the comments below, let me know what type of case you had. Let me know if you would choose to do this or you would not choose to do this and why. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a good day. Thank you.